Lecture 1, Part 2, Nerve Plexus. A nerve plexus is systems of connective nerve fibers that link spinal nerves with specific areas of the body. The ventral rami uh, form four major plexus, the cervical plex, the brachial plex, the lumbar plex, and the sacral plex. The lumbar plex this nerve network is composed of the ventral rami of L1 through L4 nerves. The nerves in, these, uh, in this lumbar plex are the ilioinguinal nerve, the iliohypogastric nerve, the genitofemoral nerve, the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh, the femoral nerve, the abturator nerve. Innovations of the lumbar uh, plex. The ilioinguinal nerve and the iliohypogastric uh, nerve, L1, um, its motor innovations. It does not innovate any of the uh, lower limb muscles. Um, for the motor uh, innovations, it innovates the internal oblique and transversus abdominis. For sensory, it innovates the post, post, uh, postural, lateral, gluteal skin and the skin of the gluteal regions. For the genital femoral nerve, L1, L2, it divides lateral to the common and external iliac arteries and divides into the femoral and the genital branches. For the motor part, the genital branch will innervate the cre uh, cremasteric muscles. For sensory, the genital branch will innervate the skinned anterior scrotum and the, or the skin of the mons pupus or the labium. For the femoral, it will innervate the skin of the anterior upper thigh. The lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh has no motor innervations. It's uh, mainly sensory, so it innervates the skin of the anterior and lateral, lateral thigh to the knee. For the femoral nerve, L2 to L4, its motor, compa uh, motor uh, components of it, it innervates the anterior thigh muscles. So the anterior thigh muscles, we have the pectineus, pectineus, ili iliopsoas, which include the psoas minor, psoas majors, and iliacus. So exceptions here is that the um, uh, the psoas majors is innervated by the anterior rami L. 1, 2, L3. The next one is the tensor of uh, fascia lata, sartorius, quadricep femoris, which is a great extensor of the leg. These include four muscles. We have the rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius, vastus medialis, and all these muscles are um, supplied by the femoral arteries. For the sensory components of this nerve, the, it's innervate the skin and, uh, on the anterior thigh, anteromedial knee, medial side of the leg, and the medial side of the foot. For the abturator nerve of the lumbar plex, We have a motor component right here. It will innervate the medial thigh muscles, which include the adductor longus, adductor brevis, adductor magnus, gracilis, and adductor externus. So all of the medial thigh muscles are supplied by the deep femoral artery, except for the abturator externus, which is supplied by the abturator artery. And there's another exception. So the except for the hamstring portions of the abturator uh, uh, magnus, which is innervated by the tibial portions of the sciatic nerve. 
the sensory uh, components of the abturator nerve, it will uh, innervate the skin of uh, the skin on the medial uh, aspect of the thigh. And here we have the femoral triangle. The femoral triangle, it is in anatomical re uh, anatomic regions uh, of the upper inner human thigh. Uh, appears triangular depressions inferior to the inguinal ligaments. It uh, provides easy access to the major vessels for coronary angioplasty, peripheral angioplasty, uh, or cardiac catheterizations. And, um, it's um, it's bounded by the superiorly uh, inguinal ligaments, medially by the adductor longus, and laterally by the uh, sartorius muscles. The floor of it is formed medially by the adductor longus, uh, pectinus, pectinus, and laterally by the iliopsoas muscles. The roof of uh, the femoral triangle is formed by the fascia lata except for at the saphenous opening where it is formed by the creepy uh, form fascia. As we can see here, the sartorius is right here, the lateral uh, border of the femoral triangle and the ductus longus right here, the medial border of the uh, femoral triangle, and we have the inguinal ligaments right here from the uh, superior uh, border of the um, uh, femoral triangle. And uh, from uh, lateral to medial, we have the femoral nerve. Femoral nerve, which is located outside of the femoral sheath. Uh, the rest of the contents in here will reside inside the femoral sheath, including the femoral artery, femoral veins, and lymphatic vessels. As we can see here, the contents of the femoral uh, triangle include the femoral nerve, from uh, lateral to medial femoral nerve, uh, femoral uh, the the femoral sheath, which contains the femoral artery, femoral veins, and lymphatic vessels.